New Hampshire primary day. The battle between the front runners has been heating up in New Hampshire, where the nation's first primary vote is taking place today. Senator Ted Cruz is fresh off a win in Iowa, where he claimed victory in the state's caucus. But some are saying that he could face more headwinds in New Hampshire, where there are far fewer evangelical voters. All right, joining us now with his take on how Cruz will come out of tonight's vote is former Republican senator from New Hampshire, Bob Smith, also a Cruz supporter. Senator Smith, it's great to have you. Great to meet you. So you are supporting Senator Cruz in New Hampshire. Yes, I am, and proudly so. Okay. Gr well, I was just going to come right out and say I don't even think the Cruz people have high expectations for his outcome in New Hampshire. So what is the best case scenario for Senator Cruz? Well, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I, I think that okay. we're, we're in this as competitors. We respect the right of the voters to make the decision. And our intention is to take everything out of the locker room and leave it on the field. I mean, you know, thousands of phone calls, thousands of, uh, of knocking on doors, thousands of dollars spent in advertising, and thousands of voters that Senator Cruz has met person to person, eyeball to eyeball, over the last several months. So, you know, we're, uh, we understand that the voters make the decision. We're not in the prediction business. That's... The voters make that decision. Yeah, of course, I respect that. But if you look at the breakdown, at the demographic, you don't have the evangelicals. He had a fantastic turnout in Iowa. Going forward, everyone says Cruz should cruise through South Carolina in Super Tuesday. But New Hampshire, probably not his cup of tea, if you will. There, there, are, there, are, there are some evangelicals here. But I think in addition to that, Laura, you also have what we call the Reagan coalition, those who supported Ronald Reagan in 1980, uh, anti-tax people, anti-spending, uh, those who uh, oppose government spending, right to life, pro-gun. There's a huge coalition of conservatives here that go far beyond the evangelical uh, message, if, if you will. Sure. And they said the same thing about Ronald Reagan in 1980, and look what Good happened point. there. And I'll tell you, if you are following Donald Trump, and his battle against Cruz, I mean, I'll give you that one. The, that has become bitter, nasty, vulgar toward Cruz. You must see some backlash, right? I'm helping you out here. <laughs> From the Trump, Trump camp maybe going to Cruz because of what's kind of unfolded well, the last couple of days in terms of how Trump has treated Cruz. And not only with his language, but specifically coming out against Cruz, criticizing him for not, for example, supporting waterboarding and interrogation. Well, I think Cruz is, uh, Senator Cruz is in good company there. I mean, uh, Mr. Trump has been pretty uh, aggressive against others, certainly including Jeb Bush, and whoever seems to, he seems to decide to pick on on any given day. But Senator Cruz is above all that. He, he really is. He's, he's just a, a, a decent man of uh, high character, good Christian man who believes what he believes and, and says it like it is, and he tells the American people that he,